to Gaza and I ask you, does it uh, apply as well to the leaders of terror in Gaza? Because they seem like, they, you know, they have insurance from Israel. Israel is not using uh, targeted killings for quite a long time in Gaza. Gaza Strip is a totally different situation once we are talking about the capabilities of Israel. Gaza is a private problem for Israel. Nobody deals with Gaza. Neither the Americans nor the Russians. It's a private problem of Israel. And we are suffering from Gaza directly and from the West Bank indirectly. I mean, terrorists from Gaza are recruiting terrorists in the West Bank to carry out terror attacks from the West Bank because Gaza is the land of capabilities while the West Bank is the land of opportunities. It's much easier for terrorists to activate from the West Bank. Gaza Strip has been built for the last uh, 28 years, or sorry, 18 years, since 2001 with military equipment and it's getting more and more developed and more and more risky to the state of Israel. In my eyes, the state of Israel will have to launch a defensive field operation in Gaza. When? When we shall decide that that's the time and we have the capabilities and we have the time to remain fighting against the terrorists and destroying and dismantling mm. the military infrastructure in Gaza Strip, it's not going to be in two weeks and it's not going to take Two months. It's going to do two, three, three years. Like the defensive field but operation. Why didn't it start yet? Because you live in Ashkelon, uh, neighboring Gaza, but people living the, in, in the settlements surrounding Gaza suffer on a daily basis. Yeah, I. Uh, what do you tell them? I, well, we tell ourselves. It's not uh, just to uh, have to tell them. Uh, just to remind you, the last uh, round uh, two months ago was very devastating. It's uh, 800 rockets within less than uh, 48 hours. It's something that creates not just the rockets, but the main problem is the war of attrition. Because the sirens, when you have many sirens during a day, it sends people to the uh, shelters. It puts people in, a, in a, an atmosphere of uh, attrition. And that's something that we shall have to uh, put an end to it. So what do you do? We are, we are waiting. We, I mean, we, the, the government and the military level, they are getting prepared. We do understand that once you launch this defensive field operation, it's going to take a long time. It's not as Ben Vegaman was to say in Hebrew. It's, it's something that's going to take much longer than the former operations in Gaza since uh, 2008 up until uh, as, four years as ago. As an expert of the Palestinian arena and mainly of Gaza, because you served with the Shin Bet uh, for quite a few years on that front, how do you analyze Hamas? What do they want? Hamas, first of all, and uh, before everything else, Hamas is the uh, Muslim Brotherhood. It's, as they are uh, written, writing in their uh, charter from 1988, Hamas is the Palestinian version of the Muslim Brotherhood. And Muslim Brotherhood is well known to everybody. It's much more dangerous than ISIS. And that's how they're going to lead their steps. It's not 67 line. It's the state of Israel. They try by all means so I to go you, back to the to the 40 to the 48 uh, uh, situation where the state of Israel was before uh, being so established. So I ask you why Israel is not doing anything, and what do we what are we waiting for? You have to differentiate between uh, an operation and a strategical war against Gaza. It's going to be the first war in Gaza. And the first war will be, in my eyes, the last war in Gaza, because we are going to destroy the whole military infrastructure of Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad in Gaza. We don't have to neglect the, uh, the peach, Palestinian Islamic Jihad. As you know, there are about 10,000 people directly connected with Gibran. Hamas is connected with Gibran, but not that strong connection that peach has. Hamas is about 30,000 terrorists. It's something that we have to work very carefully in order to minimize our losses, in order to minimize the capabilities to launch rockets towards Israel, to block them in the air by Iron Dome, and to block them on the ground by ground troops. It's going to be, in my eyes, two to three years uh, yeah. to take. We shall have thousands, thousands of terrorists in jail. They will supply us with very, very generous information to continue foiling more and more. That was the principle yes. in the defensive field in the West Bank in 2002. That's going to happen in Gaza. Avi Dichter, thank you very much for this interview.